Hello and welcome to Dixie Storytime World. I hope you're all doing well today. Are you ready to listen to this amazing story, Crosby the Not-So-Snappy Crocodile, written by Joanne Moore and illustrated by Michelle Gemmel? This is Crosby the Crocodile. Crocs are scary and snappy, but not this croc. He is caring and happy. He looks like other crocs, green with razor sharp teeth, but despite his tough exterior, he is kind underneath. He is friendly, not fierce. He is sensitive and calm. His teeth snip, not snap, and his claws don't cause harm. Look at me, I'm a crocodile, but don't judge what you see. For I don't hiss, scare or snap, I'm as gentle as can be. Crosby's thoughtful and positive, affection makes his heart swell. He loves anything beautiful and lovely fresh smells. He loves being creative and humming with birds. He grazes on the greenery like the other jungle herds. He doesn't eat like prey. He finds it mean and unkind. He couldn't harm another. He's not that way inclined. Look at me. I'm a crocodile, but don't judge what you see. For I don't hiss, scare or snap. I'm as gentle as can be. Crosby loves watching stars as he glides down the river. He is a peaceful soul and an elegant swimmer. He never gets angry. He is joyful and fun, but he just doesn't fit in and never has done. The other crocs, they tease Crosby, are unkind every day. They laugh and make fun of him and won't let him play. Look at me, I'm a crocodile, but don't judge what you see. For I don't hiss, scare or snap, I'm as gentle as can be. Crosby isn't understood, other crocs find him strange, and he begins to wonder if he should change his ways. So he tries to be scary, bares his teeth, snaps his jaw, he practices mean faces, but the crocs laugh even more. Your teeth, they are useless. Your grin is so wide. You're supposed to be a crocodile. Don't you have any pride? Look at me. I'm a crocodile, but don't judge what you see. I don't hiss, scare or snap. I'm different, but I'm me. Crosby doesn't want to change so that he can fit in. We don't need to be the same and I love my big grin. I don't want to be like the others who hunt, fight and laze. I want to sing and to dance, to relax and stargaze. Crosby's confident in himself. He refuses to feel rejected. I won't stop being who I am. I deserve to be accepted. Look at me. I'm a crocodile. What do you see? I don't hiss, scare or snap, but I'm happy just being me. So deep into the jungle, Crosby swims all alone, away from the crocs and the swamp he calls home. He notices the overgrowth by the sides of the river and starts to tidy it up using his teeth as scissors. Before he knows it, he has trimmed all the trees, used his claws to cut bushes and made decorations with leaves. Look at me, I'm a crocodile. Do you like what you see? I sing, smile and snip. This happy crocodile is me. Crosby dances in the reeds and he sings to the flowers, snipping so carefully, clawing and pruning for hours. Other animals watch from quite a distance. They admire his work and his persistence. As his last tree is groomed, the animals cheer with glee. Crosby feels 
very proud. They're cheering for me. Look at me. I'm a crocodile. I know what you see. A happy, creative crocodile who is as proud as can be. With his amazing talent and his smile big and wide, Crosby's accepted and proud and has new friends by his side. We are all a bit different and the world would be bleak if everyone was the same, not special or unique. Crosby may be a bit different, but now he feels free. He has embraced his true self. Isn't that how life should be? This book is dedicated to anyone who is a little bit different. Know someone who is a little bit different, feels a little bit different, and even those who would like to be a little bit different. If you'd like to buy a copy of this book for your home library or the classroom, the link is available in the description at the bottom of this video. Kids, always remember to be good, polite, and kind. And I'll see you soon in another adventure.